All right, you guys, taking a look at uh, replacing the system here. So we got a system about 21 years old. A uh, homeowner had installed when he, uh, so he's been here for 21 years. He built the house. Uh, airflow is not the greatest, or just the cooling itself is not the greatest on second floor, as you would expect. Um, heating is better, but not perfect. Uh, so we're looking at um, the return drop, which is 14 by 25, the correct size here. Uh, we got a five inch filter, so we're in good shape there. We want to get our return air base, furnace, coil, supply plenum, then humidifier is newer too. We're going to look at getting that back on. Um, and one of the things we want to look at doing to help airflow to the second floor is flaring out this plenum. Uh, we got two supplies coming off right here, we got a third coming off over this way. So just trying to flare that where we can really maybe gain some ground is you know going this way and helping out these two. Uh, but also look at maybe flaring that one and going this way. Um, so this being the 700 series humidifier, we may have to go back on to the coil just because of our height restraints. Uh, so we'll bring that to his attention on that. Um, and then if we go 80% flue piping, just catching our six inch T over here. If we go high efficient, uh, looking at probably going out through the side of the home, um, just right in this area. Uh, we got the AC over on this side too. Uh, modify the condensate drains, gas piping, and electric. And then as far as coming and going, you know, we'll ask the homeowner to have this cleared out, which shouldn't be any problem at all. And then between the shelving and the plumbing pipe, we got 26 inches. Doors 29 inches wide, so plenty of room to come and go. Uh, with all of our equipment. Breaker panel just right behind me. We're on a Murray 40 amp.